Hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel and this is your friend Dr Suresh Anvi one of my viewer has asked me about laser doppler flowmetry and i too feel that it is really difficult now why exams ask you about laser doppler flowmetry and pulse oximetry so often for that you have to check my old video where i told you about the disadvantages of conventional pulp fertility test that is electric and thermal because they check the nerve response rather than the blood supply of the pulp the real vitality would be the blood supply rather than the nerve supply and in order to understand the laser doppler flowmetry let us first understand what is doppler shift for example you have a car in which a person is blowing the horn and if you have kept a sensor a and sensor b to receive this sound and measure the frequency then the frequency recorded by sensor a and sensor b will be the same in this situation because the car is stationary and the sensors are equidistant from the car suppose if the car is moving while honking the horn then when you check the frequency of the recorded sound in the sensor b then it will be a higher frequency because it is nearer to the car whereas the sensor a the frequency will be less because it is away from the honking car and this is called as doppler shift now in laser doppler flowmetry you will realize that rather than using the sound they have used the laser from the visible spectrum and most of the time it is argon laser now in the unit of laser doppler flowmetry we have a source where the laser is generated and the laser is monochromatic that is it has a single wavelength and this laser beam is then split into two separate beams but both the beams have same characteristics and then these two beams are made convergent by passing it through a converging lens when these two converging laser beams intercept at one single given point they form something called as fringes fringes is nothing but alternating bands of bright light so when a object passes through these fringes it is going to reflect the light and when you use it in pulp vitality test it is the rbc which is passing through these fringes and whenever the rbc passes through these fringes it is going to form a light burst and depending on the velocity of the rbc the intensity of the light burst will vary at each straight fringes and then you have a photo detector which is going to measure the change in this light burst and that gives us the velocity of the rbc but the velocity of the rbc which is given by the photo detector will only accurately match the real velocity of the rbc if it is parallel to the movement of the rbc and this is why the laser doppler flowmetry has not been very popular in dentistry because the standardization of the location of photo detector is very difficult if you like the video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon